My name is Gerald McNeil, the original Ice Cube. By the way, I wish I would have patented that name back when I received it in 1986 in the cover of Sports Illustrated because uh, it would have been for sale and I would have sold it to him a long time ago. But I played for the Houston Oilers from 1990 to 92. Uh, before that and started my career with the Houston Gamblers. And that's how I came back to be an Oiler about six years later. So, so you had the oh, privilege had, yeah. of playing with Jim Kelly? The first, very right out of Baylor University, and I can't remember we had a spring. So we, you know, we played in the spring. First time that, all right. I looked down there and saw that running shoe. Saw that was Jim Kelly. Passed up the draft. Came out and played for Houston Gamblers. The rest is history. Wow! And then you came back to play for the Oilers in 90, 91, 92. That's right. And that was under what coach? Under Jack Hardy. You were. I you started, were with Jack Party. with Jack Party with the Houston Gamblers. Oh my God! I finished with Coach with the Houston Oilers. Now, and what was I your him dad was in. what was your jersey number yeah. and your your position? My jersey number was number eighty nine. I was a wide receiver, but I got most of my Hall of Fame uh, uh, claim to fame, so to speak. I was a punt and kickoff return. The guy that sits back there, you yes. Know, nobody wants that job. <laughs> so we, I kind of found out the more that you can do, they keep you around. Yeah, they, they do. So, and the Orders had a historic history of returners. Uh, we Carl have, Roaches. Oh, Carl Roaches, Billy White, Steve Johnson. Oh, my Those gosh. Those guys were my mentors. Yes. I've known them ever since I've been saying yay high. And, 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 and probably the biggest, the biggest, best honor I've ever gotten a chance to do. So I get a chance now to come back and remember this with them. Because we always have a love you, blue reunion. I'm looking over there with the coach. What I know. Over here and I see Billy White Shoe. And I said, man, you guys gave me all the inspiration to become Joe. And that's, that's just ironic. What I've really learned to watch and witness and appreciate with the Oilers is the brotherhood that y'all have. You guys are, are like. Unbelievable. Uh, it's, it's, it's we a different. You so much. Yes. But the great thing is you get a chance to fellowship right. and spend the rest yeah. of your life. Just reminiscing the past. Yeah. And you want to talk about life lessons? Yeah. You get a chance to pass that yeah. on. So anytime that you mentor young kids, that's what you try to give back yeah. to our community and to this new generation of young, young football players that I have. Yes. Yeah, and you all have a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience to give oh, back. And it, it's always great to hear y'all's stories. That's why I love doing this. Uh, I, I, I just you love just hearing from your, the you horse's you mouth, the story, and y'all's yeah. experience. And yeah. I, I'm just so grateful that you're here today. I tell you what, though, it's just great to see a great fan like yourself and the heart and the desire to keep it going. Yeah. And I love you too. The orders, they mean something. They had such a strong affiliation in the city. We, we, we missed that. Of course, I love the Texans. Um, we all, you know, we, we have, we, we love the Titans. We love, we love, the, we Titans. love the Texans. I mean, we, we they, they they have their place. But the Oilers have their place, too. The Oilers have so much tradition. Yeah. See, a lot of people told me all the time, Mattress Mac is one of those guys. If, if we don't have tradition, know where we come from, you have no idea where you know where you're going. So you got to have a strong foundation when you're building something. And every time you're building a community, when you're building the new generation, they can look back to the past and see that strong foundation. I, I think the the, uh, the quote that comes to me, uh, based on what you just said, was a, a a community that doesn't know its history is like a tree with no roots. And and uh, you fall and, yeah, the storms so, come. Yeah. Got yeah. When it's got those roots. It's, yeah. It's better than that. It's hard to hard to come. And, and there's no denying the Oilers are oh, embedded, roots. oil deep, deep in the roots like in the roots of uh, Houston. Yeah. So God bless you, man. Yeah. Keep up the great work. Yeah. No, thank you, thank you. So, let's get your name on history, man. <laughs> And then you, you can sign anywhere you want. You want to sign the ceiling? I see it. I'm coming down here by Mr. Lamar Latham. Oh. My man number 57. Yes. Uh, there's nothing like Lamar. Wow. Ice cube. What what is your most memorable moment with Coach Pardee? Woo! 
most memorable moment. With Coach Party. Let me tell you a great story about it. Okay. I want to hear about it. Something I'll... about Coach Party. So, first got to Houston. Okay. We practice outside every day. In the springtime, so we're going into the heat. It's, it's 103 outside, all right? 110. We're on the field practicing. Coach is walking by, and he says, Charles, he looks up. Where would you rather be? Look at you. You're out here playing sports. But well, look over there at that roof. Who was, who was roofing our facility over there off of Holly Hall? It's 110 degrees. And he's up there at that tar roofing, making it seem like 120 to 30 degrees. It's hotter than that, probably. Now, think about that. Yeah. All right? He said, where would you rather be? See, sometimes you got to put things in perspective. We had two of them. And we didn't want to be out there. It's hot. You're tired. Your body. Houston, you Houston, like humid hot. Yeah. Houston hot. Yeah. But once you put it in perspective, like, it's hot. Look at this young man on top of this roof over with that tar. He's probably got 130, 140. And he's going to work every day. So you're blessed to come out and play a game yeah. out here. So where would you rather be, he said. I said, Coach, I think I'd rather be right here. Yeah. Now, why did him ask me that? I'd rather be at the house or somewhere else. <laughs> but once he puts it like that, is. Yes, Puts Man, everything in perspective. And it's hot and it's wild and you yeah. want to be here. This is exactly where you want to be yeah. the time you need to be. Yeah. You got to work at it. Yeah. Nothing comes easy. No. You have to work at yeah. it. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. hey man, you. I want you to send all those videos. Yes, you, I sure okay. will. You got my uh, yes. email and stuff. Yes. So send yep. that to me. I will. God bless you. Good, God sir. Bless you. All right.